Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to Unlockable Character. I never know where the power button is on this iPad. Found it. We're gonna head over to uh, Costco because yesterday was track day. I need to put some more air in my tires and Costco is a cheat code for free air because most of these gas stations, they say Quick Trip has free air but they never maintain their stuff. The gas stations make so much money but you quickly realize none of them maintain their equipment, you know? And I I've been talking a lot about a lot of different people, you know, black people, Asian people. Come on, Indian people need to do better too. They own all these gas stations and the bathrooms are in disrepair. The pumps need upgrades and maintenance. None of that's been done. Oil, it just blows my mind that people just don't maintain their stuff. But I guess that's our society, right? It's rotting from within. People used to at least put a fresh coat of paint on the walls. Now they don't even care to put paint on the walls. Everything is just kind of crumbling. That's why I really want to uh, build that house in Wyoming away from everyone, you know? Have a racetrack, create content daily by myself, have those mountain roads, those back roads. I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit tired of all these people, you know? I still want people to do better. And all these roads being paved, Oh my god. All these roads being paved mean it's so uneven. I hate it guys. I hate the roads out here and I hate the drivers even more. And you just look around guys, just look around. The people are, are, are ignorant, obese. There's toxic culture, you know, they have a toxic mindset. We have toxic politics. And as much as it gets me down, I also know, I also know that it's so easy to get ahead because pretty much everyone is just, you know, below average. <laughs> this country, we were told that we were a country of exceptional people. And I think people fail to realize that that was just a tactic to, you know, motivate the citizens of this country to be economic cattle for the powers that be to do whatever they wanted. That's why the education system is the way it is. You don't really get smarter going to school in America. You just learn how to pass tests. And those tests are tied to federal funding. Thank you, George W. Bush, for No Child Left Behind. It has nothing to do with being able to succeed, succeed in the real world or even understand what is the real world. They just really teach you how to be programmed into the matrix even more. And uh, unfortunately, Asian people, you know, Asian immigrants were, were called like the golden immigrants, the best immigrants. And, and that's such a backhanded way of saying that they, they basically bowed down to the program, to the matrix better than everyone else. Because they don't question authority. They're very fearful just to be an immigrant in this country. So, you know, they're not trying to rock the boat. So they went and got advanced degrees, you know what I mean? They, they played their part. But the country hasn't become any better for it. We just basically created a bunch of high-earning Asian immigrants who pay a lot of taxes and don't rock the boat, you know what I mean? Asian people, especially Asian parents, they're so fearful. They're so fearful and they cause so much trauma in their children. And they live inside of basically a box, which is their belief system. And they think that, oh, I've worked hard, you know, I got an advanced degree, I have a job, I have a house, I made it. And that's, that's not it, guys. That's really not it. So you've just basically become the best puppet master, uh, the best puppet for your master, which is the government. Good job, you know what I mean? Good job. You should become your own master, guys. If anyone has played Half-Life, it's one of my favorite games. Gordon Freeman is the main character. And he's working in Arizona on some extremely advanced technology when basically a wormhole opens to space and aliens come through. And on a long enough time scale, those aliens take over the planet. And then Gordon has to basically save everyone. And it's kind of like Neo in the Matrix, except the aliens, the people that control the planet, they're called the Combine. They call Gordon the anti-citizen. And it's a funny concept, the anti-citizen. Because now more than ever, we really need to realize, you know, what does it mean to be a citizen? What does it mean to be patriotic? What does it actually mean to like love your country? You know what I mean? Drive, guys. You 
getting some free swimming lessons with all this wisdom, guys. see and I'm an anti-citizen so basically the system that controls all of these people you know what I mean the society that they live in who says you bought into the society you were basically sold the beliefs that you have just like a diamond ring was sold in the 50s as a belief that you need to give your wife a diamond ring to enga get engaged it's all marketing guys advertising free your mind you know lose your fear free your mind make your own way and start just you know really breaking free of all these norms and belief systems. stretch its legs if you, if you guys know what I mean it honestly it's like the car wants to stretch its legs and then what guess what we have guys just NPCs after NPCs after NPCs have is just unbelievable when they're driving they just have no fucking idea how to drive and it is it is fast fast
can approach people at speed, flash them to give them a warning from a fair distance and they just stay in the left lane is everything that you need to know that's wrong with how people drive in this country. right in law enforcement their community they think that there's some patriarchal you know judgment of character that they have the right to enforce on others like go fuck yourselves you're generally of low intelligence not that fit you probably can't drive that well and you live in a little boxed in belief system because you're in law enforcement and you follow the rules you don't even know why the rules were put in place you don't even think for yourselves I've been arrested guys and you know, those officers make fun of me and shit. They say, oh, I can't believe how you afford insurance. Well, no shit, you're an officer. You don't know what it means to make money. And no shit, your brain is so small that you can't even comprehend that this doesn't really matter to me. Blows my mind, guys.
making a top speed run guys but I'm not even trying that was really not that not that hard not that difficult but you just get a sense for how dumb people are right this is how they live their lives clueless in the left lane blocking themselves from awareness <laughs> causing issues for other people and then they say oh you're the problem you're the problem no you retards get the fuck out the passing lane And these police officers don't even do shit about people in the left lane. They just cause more traffic, which causes economic harm to the country. It's ridiculous. We have so many people without insurance, driving. We have people trafficking humans on the highways. And yet, you see the police on the side of the road with a fucking radar, trying to catch you for speeding. It's the stupidest fucking shit I've ever seen. When you're doing 150, you don't stop, you go. I was in a GT3 RS a few years back, coming back on 400, passing through Buckhead. The cop didn't even move. I did 150 right past him. He didn't even try. What was he gonna do? Catch me in a GT3 RS? These guys don't know how to drive, guys. And if you think GSP knows how to drive, you don't, you don't really know how to drive. GSP is like the ultimate NPC in terms of beliefs. Just look at them, the way they're built, their hair, their style. It sounds so good, guys. I cannot tell you how good that sounds. Going on, guys. We are doing a shoot for Mason. He's gonna launch a brand. If you haven't seen the Adro kit in person, this is the front bumper. I don't know if it's wrapped or paint match, but this looks so so good. Of course, you got the LCI and then the pre-LCI with the Adro kit. All right, guys. We're about to. Get it moving, go to the spot, see what's up. Let's go. All right, we got Nassib out front. He's got the laser taillights on his pre-LCI car. Shit looks hard. Who else we got behind us, bro? You can see we got some M2s behind us. out shoot is just getting started what's good guys we are at a brand shoot for a friend's brand it's called the Saints it's gonna launch soon we have Shrank media here DJ he is a sick videographer sick photographer and we're at a really awesome secret spot so check it out guys there's shitload of BMWs here <laughs> of course you got mine check that out That is the brand, guys. When it drops, I will be sure to post it on the YouTube. Supporting, you know, supporting the friends, supporting the homies. Got an M2. Check those wheels out. That is sick. We got Max's M2. It is now lowered. It's got the new grills. He's got intakes in there. You can't see it yet, but they're in there. Got the Adro front bumper paint matched. Red headlights, that looks crazy. Got Danny's G82. Yes, sir. He's got the bronze wheels from the previous G82, guys. Got the classic BMW here as well. We have a BMW individual M4 competition. Check out those wheels, guys. This color is gorgeous. I don't know how well you can see in the light, but you won't see a blue like this on another M4. Got the M4 competition, carbon ceramics, paint matched aero. It's 
too sick. Got the M3 HREs. Shit looks crazy. <laughs> and we have the new 5 Series, the illuminated grill. This is what the M5 is gonna look like similar to, but not exactly. Still completely dope. And yeah, guys, we are uh, probably gonna go out in the grass by the satellite dishes. Let's go. This has the new front mount intakes. Go for it, Max. <laughs> that sounds really, really good. Sounds like a JDM turbo car. Getting the cars on the grass, guys. It's gonna be a pretty crazy turnout. center caps you see those things rotating you couldn't that put a credit card between the wheel the and that freaking <laughs> parking block I don't think the M2s are as wide guys let's check let's check okay, so look how tight this shit is but it's all right you got it you good you good? Oh my goodness, guys. What the uh, hell? Uh, uh, Straight? Keep going. You plenty of room. Plenty of room. Oh, oh, oh. You know this is a stressful situation, but shit, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got plenty of space. Plenty of space. Turn like that. Yeah, keep keep back backing up, up with the wheel yeah. turn. All right, now turn the wheel the other direction. Keep going, keep going. With the, yeah, go go the other direction with the wheel. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Now you're good. Now you're good. Now go straight. Now go straight. Yeah, like that. You're good. You're good. That was another close call, guys. That was crazy. That was the side skirt that time. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm about to get run over. Oh shit. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Good on this side, you got plenty of space on this side. You're good, just keep going straight. Now turn to your right, you should be straight. You're good. Easy work. Look how nice that looks on the grass. That shit looks so low on the grass. Look at that laser tail light. What the hell? That ain't AliExpress, is it? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. <laughs> Alright guys, we got a shitload of M cars out here. M4, M2, 
M4. M4 F82. Individual blue. M4 G82. 540i new 5 series. Got some classics too. Classic M3. Look at this guy. He's got laser tail lights and laser headlights. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. He just got these wheels today. They go absolutely crazy. We're literally around satellite dishes, so we'll see what happens. I hope we don't get any radiation. Alright guys, behind me is a single turbo M3. Ridiculous. This whole scene, this whole scene looks like it's out of a movie. This is the brand guys, the Saints, launching soon. Put the banners out here. These are the old wheels from my car, guys. They live on. <laughs> this car is tuned, so if you see it, you better know what you're getting into. The M2 is growing on everyone, guys. All they had to do was lower it, and now everyone loves it. Just like the new Supra, just like the G80, people just hate these new BMWs. Supra is pretty much a BMW, but once you see it in person and once they're lowered, everyone loves it. I think the same thing is going to happen with the new M5. Let's go. All right, guys, this is the new 5 Series. So a lot of you are thinking, like, what's the new M5 going to look like? On the inside, this is very much what it's going to look like. Honestly, the interior is crazy. The ambient lighting on the 5 Series is so much better than the 4 Series and the 3 Series. Remember, the 5 Series is really a luxury car, so you do get better features on the inside. Look at that, you can see that the ambient lighting goes all the way across the entire dash. It has a flat bottom steering wheel. It's almost got like gold accents. I don't know what to call the, the trim, but that's pretty cool too. I think this has the B58 in it. These are what the new headlights look like. And if you don't notice, the grill illuminates as well. It's gonna grow on people. That's who we ran into. Zeal. Night shift Zeal, right? Zeal. Still the, still the no, tag? Zeal, no, no. no. Zeal. underscore Zeal. Oh, nocturnal Zeal. Because the Supra is nocturnal black, from my understanding. Yep. <laughs> and this guy's is a Supra that has been on the track many times now. I'm so proud of this guy. He's enjoying this car. He came from another Toyota. <laughs> if you believe it or not, he had a Camry. Yeah. A TRD Camry, right? TRD Camry. Now it's the GR Supra. For those of you who don't know, Toyota has TRD and GR. The TRD is more of like their cars and trucks. GR is for their sports cars. What other Supra have you seen with this kind of wing? This looks unreal. Unreal. Yeah, who, who put the uh, wing on? Foundry. Speed Foundry. Yeah, that's pretty good shop in Roswell. They started, they're starting to work on G80s over there too. A lot more. Oh, like they, they wanted to get more B50s and S50s in there. Yeah. So like, Jay Zilla, by the way, really good yeah. track group. Chin Track Days, Jay Zilla. A lot of good local track groups in Atlanta, guys. You should check them out. <laughs> <laughs> Had to end it on a high note, guys. Let's go. Ooh.